ジョンソンドゲンジョンネコルチャツンソンデ。え、とぐるんぶちにゃんてテワナスラロレテワナヨンジ。にゃんてテワナヨンデ。てね、しりこりね、カルカタランプルゴウンドゥティティ。ティナ
and so I decided to go to Kathmandu, but yet I didn't decide I'm going to take the empowerments because I was such so new to Buddhism and I had never taken empowerments before and I felt it will come later, later. Some <laughs> And I could sit there all day, every day for one month without knowing what was happening and feeling so happy. I still feel that was the happiest time of my life. There's another thing I remember, I don't know if you remember, during the Namcho. There was one time towards maybe the last week, something happened. So there was this girl, this young girl from a Nepali girl. And um, we were, everybody was in the, in, in the monastery and just following the empowerment. So all of a sudden we hear this kind of noise and running into the monastery and then the screaming started and it was this young Nepali girl, she must have been maybe in her early 20s very, very skinny and she went towards Rinpoche and nobody stopped her everybody was just so enchanted by Rinpoche nobody took care of what was happening so she actually reached quite close to Rinpoche, maybe one or two meters to Rinpoche until some monks came and stopped her, like, what are you doing? and the moment they stopped her she went crazy so she started like moving her arms and kind of jumping and then finally the monks they saw that she could have been quite dangerous because of her, her um, like energy and taking out so they started dragging her out you know out go out of the monastery so they start dragging her back towards the main gate at the back of the monastery and that was the strangest thing I've ever seen in that moment because finally the girl was lying on the floor and uh, three monks came so one monk took the right 
arm, the other monk took the left arm, and one monk took one of the two legs. So these three strong monks, <laughs> they were dragging her out, this tiny girl, they were just dragging her out, and she was shaking her body so strongly, and she managed to actually go towards Rinpoche. So she was, she was just lying on the floor, and she, <laughs> the three monks dragging her towards the back of the monastery and just by moving with the energy and the wish to go towards Rinpoche she actually managed, I think, to go further, maybe one or two meters and I couldn't believe my eyes, like this tiny girl, how, how can this happen? She must have been possessed, was it a heavy spirit? That I don't know, what was her intention? Was it that to attack Rinpoche? That I don't know. But Rinpoche wasn't, you know, he, he, like nothing was happening. He wasn't affected by it at all. He was just sitting on the throne and kept doing the empowerment. And everybody was like, wow, wow. <laughs>